This has been happening for weeks. This has been happening for months. I wrote my first letter to the minister at least two months ago, underlining the issue that is before us. I've asked questions in the house. I've brought it up in my debate to, uh, to speech, speech, and, uh, speech and reply. Finally, now, when these threats have been thrown around, when the violence has gotten too much, finally, people seem interested in what's happening in West Nova. Where the heck were, excuse me, where, where were you? Where were the other MPs? You'd think at some point I would have gotten a phone call from someone asking about what the situation really means. Now, what, what is causing the problem that we're seeing here in West Nova? I can tell you, Mr. Speaker, that the people that I represent are scared they're worried about what's happening in their communities. They're wondering what is going to happen next in their communities. Before I get to the current situation, I want to say to the minister and to the people that are speaking here today, please don't paint my area as racist. There's probably a few, as in many of our writings. Systemic race, racism is true in Canada, but my area is not by default racist. It does not represent the majority of my citizens. 